Welcome to Metal Canyon's channel. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2. Yes, it's finally here. You've been asking for it forever. And I haven't been doing it forever. We'll just skip this. War. War never changed. Indeed, war never changes. Yeah, I've been asked forever to do a stupid playthrough of Fallout 2. Well, I mean, the first play or th uh, playthrough was stupid anyway, but uh, people wanted me to play a stupid character because I asked everyone whether they would like to see it and then never did it because I had huge, humongous problems getting this game to, uh, to record. I just didn't like it. There were crashes left, right? Center. I mean, it was impossible to even record a couple of seconds, literally. It just did not wish to be recorded. So now, without further ado, welcome again, everyone. This is gonna be fun. Now, if you haven't ever played Fallout 1 or 2, unlike Fallout 3 and 4, well, 3 and New Vegas, um, we're going to create our own character, of course, um, you can play a very stupid character and that will give you unique dialogue options, and not just a few. You'll have unique options everywhere, pretty much, which is pretty damn amazing. So, of course, I am running the restoration patch, which should uh, make everything much nicer. Um, it's actually the latest restoration patch, so um, I think it's only less than half a year old now. <clears throat> so that's pretty awesome. Let's uh, select our style. We will be a... Bald headed dude. Hair? Who needs it? You're a shining beacon of no nonsense, uh, nonsense, rugged masculinity. Or maybe that's just the wasteland sun reflecting off your head. Either way, you're racking the chrome dome and proud of it. Right. So, first of all, very important intelligence. Very bad. <laughs> Knowledge, wisdom, and the ability to think quickly. None of these are your traits. Alright, so, because we're very stupid, we'll be very strong. Now, putting strength on 10 is a bit of a waste, because we'll be getting power armor anyway. But, you know, why not? And then, of course, we need loads of endurance. <clears throat> we'll also be very ugly. Because nobody will like us anyway, because we're uh, very stupid. So I will want more agility, because that will give us lots of action points and armor class and everything else. Um, right, optional traits. We're going to select the bruiser, because that uh, your total action points are lowered, but your strength is increased. Now, that will reduce our action points by two, as you can see, but give us two extra strength points. Obviously, we can't have more than ten, so we're going to put this in more agility, which, as you can see, we only lose one action point, but gain two armor class and, you know, loads of other things. So this is pretty darn good. Well, also, um, we won't, we will not take heavy-handed, because um, your attacks are very brutal, but you lack finesse. Uh, now, this is interesting, because if you take it, for example, the only thing that changes is melee damage. And you say, oh, wow. You know, it's just a free upgrade to melee damage. But it doesn't actually tell you. The critical chance stays the same, but the hidden formula in uh, Fallout 1 and 2, as far as I know, is that... Whenever you score a crit, the heavy-handed will actually reduce that crit severity by quite a lot. So we're not taking that. We are going to take the gifted. You have more innate abilities than most. This, is, this gives us loads of these uh, abilities across the board, but of course, reduces everything by 10% all the skills. But that's not really a problem. So we have loads of extra skills over here. Can't actually go below to intelligence, but it doesn't matter. I think... With three and lower, you get the, the stupidest dialogue possible. <laughs> so, uh, let's, uh, let's put perception up as well. So we have loads of sequence. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I could put luck up there, but... Uh, I could take it and take the Slayer. At the end. Hmm. That is very possible. Now I'm going to keep that like that. So that is only my sequence, really. And... Hmm. We're not going to be using guns that much anyway, so I'm going to put that over there. Alright. I think that's pretty good. Alright. So, H. We are going to be named Ugo. We are Ugo. 
uh, race default. You're the generic default dude. You come from a long line of ge generic default dudes. Can't actually select that. All right, so now let's tag skills. Obviously, we're going to be unarmed, melee weapons, and probably stealing. Now, because we're, we have both gifted and extremely low intelligence, we're not going to be getting a lot of skill points, which means we will have to rely on the tags and stuff like that. Look at that, minus 4% in repair. Mm -mm -mm. Ugo, yeah, you're gonna be 25, why not? I think we're done here, and we can go. 45 hit points at level 1. Let's go. All right. The Gek. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. Ooh. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, come back to me. We will talk more. Ooh. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. Find the Gek. Be our salvation. Uga. Uga do. This is going to be so much fun. All right, so here is Ugo. All right, uh, ignore the saved screenshot. That always happens because I use F12 to start and stop recording. So let's go talk to this person, Clint, a fellow tribesman. Good day to see you, Ugo. You have not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. <laughs> that is the only response we can give him. Huh? Ugo, you go temple. You take test. You not come back here until take test. Obey elder. Go. Me go. <laughs> so stupid. Oh man. I actually when I when I was um, checking this yesterday to try and yeah and record it, I actually killed this guy. But you can't still can't go past over here. Um, I mean past here. So never mind. Right. Let's go into the temple. We have a spear, I believe. There we go, we are in the temple. I will have the spear over here because it, it's going to do almost twice as much damage as um, our unarmed fist attack. Although, yeah, it's the same. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're not we're not that great with uh, melee. 70%, yeah, yeah. Right, so let's wait for these things to come. Whoa, that's slow. I will have to increase the speed of that. That is extremely slow. Uh, combat speeds. Let's do it like that. Hopefully that will be a bit faster. Right, so, um... Yeah, hello there. Let's try a spear. 66, not great. We did hit it for only 4. What? There we go. 12 hit points, that's much better. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm so used to playing this game, I wanted to right click on this and reload it but then I forgot I mean then I remembered I don't have a projectile weapon well unless you throw the spear of course where is this thing come on oh it's all the way over there okay hello you bloody and thing oh well, of course now it comes over but it missed us so that's good oh that was a nice little only eight huh. okay well not too impressed so far but uh could try the fists, I guess. Let's go through. And you know how the male character always scratches his head? Well, now in this case, I think that's... Uh, yeah, let's try this. I think that's appropriate. How much was that? Four. Hmm. So he's like... Uh -huh. Who got, who got kill? Who got kill? I think I'm going to give him an Arnold's uh, voice. With all due respect to Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course. But it kind of fits in this case, I think. 
simply because of the fact that he's very strong. Who got kill? Who got kill? And no, he's dead. Right. So what do we have over here? Yeah, the some of the uh, dialogue in this game when you play a stupid character is absolutely hilarious. I mean, a lot of the dialogue is really, really great in this game anyway, but when you're playing a stupid character, oh my god, it's just ridiculous. Especially when we get to um, Broken Hills. That is one of my favorite possible lines in the game. You'll see. Also, the nice thing about... Um, playing such a strong character. Oh, we're gonna get poisoned here. Yep. Oh, we weren't poisoned. Probably because we have such high poison resistance due to our uh, endurance. And also because of our high agility, we're going first because of the uh, high sequence. Yeah, but because of the high um, strength, we have 275 pounds um, of maximum weight, which is very nice. Where is that thing? Oh, there were only two. How rude. All right. Well, that's, that's fine. All right. So let's go over here. There's another scorpion over here. I obviously want to kill them all. Um, actually, we could try a uh, aimed attack, but yeah, the, the eyes were never gonna hit that. Let's try it anyway. Well, we hit it and only ah oh, seven. We didn't actually crit. That was very unfortunate. And these guys hit for quite a lot, actually. What the hell? Still didn't get poisoned, so that's uh, quite funny. Come on, take it. There we go. All right. So there's more scorpions over here. We just want to finish them all off. And, uh, oh. oh, he's right there. Yeah, these things hit for quite a lot. Oh, he avoided everything, but then died with one uh, hit. Because it was 15 hit points. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna wait for the other scorpion. Ah, I just have to move so I can't attack him twice. You bloody thing. Well, I can. I can just punch it. I mean, who goes around punching scorpions? Look at this. Nine hit points. It's ridiculous. Did we loot this one? We didn't yet. Those are horribly um, heavy. So, uh, usually I don't really take more than a couple. But with such a strong character, it doesn't really matter. I thought there was more stuff over there. I think we have to lockpick this, right? Yeah, it appears to be locked. Right, let's lockpick it with 16% lockpick. <laughs> but I think even with 0% lockpick, you can get through this. Ah, we're gonna need some perception here and avoid the uh, raised plates. Because there's traps all over the place here. More scorpions. Hello, scorpion. Ah, oh, you're coming. I wanted your buddy to come over. There we go. Hello. Uh, let's thrust the spear. No, come on. There we go. Only eight hit points. Ow! Yeah, they're, they're doing quite a lot of damage, actually. Ow! So if you have a if you have a character with less uh, endurance than this, it can be quite uh, interesting. Hmm. Right, so let's take this, the plastic explosives in here. Oh no, it's this thing, okay. I thought they were plastic. Are they in this bowl over here? Can't quite remember. More raised plates, let me start the combat before this thing does. Ah, and we missed completely. Yeah. Ugo kill, Ugo kill, everything. Ugo kill. Ugo like punching. Or I guess he would just say Ugo like punch. And he doesn't mean the drink. Oh yeah. Yeah, the the um what why did I want to say the aliens? The enemies are moving faster now, which is much nicer, I think. Oh come on. Oh bloody ants. It's a huge ant, come on. Just hit it once and kill it. There you go. Exterminator! Well, he wouldn't actually know such a big word, would he? I kill. Actually, the, the funniest thing is, he doesn't really make sentences. He just sort of makes, you know, sounds like... <laughs> which you will see throughout the game. Um, the only problem really with this is, 
And I'm guessing the, de the developers didn't really see a way around it, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Um, is that critical dialogue where it's really important that you talk to the person, like over here will we'll arrive now. Um, you actually do get sort of basic sentences, you know. Um, it's kind of unfortunate, I guess, but I don't know. I guess they couldn't go around it. I'll just place it down here and get out of there. Who got, who got need heal? Boom! There we go. And let's go through. Oh, you trigger the trap and narrowly avoid the projectile shot from the wall. Oh yeah, wait, this is the end. I just want to go over here. Kill some more scorpions and get some more loot. Mmm, loot. Yeah, there it is. I think there's another healing pouch thingy there. Not entirely sure. 57 only. Whoa. These are some uh, agile scorpions. One hit point. Not very uh, not very good at killing me, though. I take that back. Ow. Jeez. I actually will need healing now. Come on. There you go. I'm not... I'm not hurt, though. <laughs> Science. Minus 5% repair. Minus 8. <laughs> First aid. 6%. Let's see what we can do. Uh, oh, we actually healed ourselves. Really? With first aid 6%? <laughs> I mean, we healed ourselves 3 hit points. That's quite a lot, actually. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need 5. You can just press the number 5, the key 5, and uh, use that skill. Oh, we're actually healing. Look at that. I'm guessing that... You're too tired. Let's try Doctor as well. I'm guessing that, um, you know, the, the difficulty just increases with level. So, even though we're sort of successful now... Yeah, Doctor won't do anything. We're sort of successful now. It's gonna be almost impossible at level 2 and onwards. Let's uh, save the game over here. Um, Ugo. Uh, Ugo. I'm Ugo. Right, where is that scorpion? I have no idea there. Hello, scorpion. Would you like to get killed? I think he's too far away. No, he's not. Oh yeah, of course, this thing has reach. A little bit... Whoa, a little bit of reach. 15 hit points. Very nice. Right, let's uh, take that. See what's in there. Ah, uh, more of these things. Okay. And another scorpion tail. So, you know, playing a stupid character, some of the quests will be much more difficult, and some of the quests will be just insanely easier. And you will see why. It's just funny, I really like what they did. You know, how they gave the player options. If they want to play a stupid character, they can. Of course, you can still play stupidly, but uh, that's another matter entirely. Right, let's take care of this rat. Come on, rat. A uh, rat? Did I just call it rat? It's a bloody ant. Yeah, well, what was I talking about stupidity? Right, this chest is empty over here. Because it's just a chest for uh, our stuff. Now, the first... I can't remember. The first few times, I think I just lost everything because I failed to properly read what this guy said. Uh, that we would get the, um... You know, uh, our stuff in the chest. Uh, so let's go talk to him. <clears throat> now, over here you'll see that we actually have proper sentences. Well, sort of. Greetings, Zugo. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in an unarmed combat. Shall we begin? <laughs> okay, we fight. Very well. Shall we begin? Me ready. Excellent. Your equipment will be kept in the trunk outside of the room. You can get it after the fight. Let the fight begin. Good luck to you, Ugo. Right, so he comes over and punches us, <clears throat> and we... Oh, oof, five hit points, that's not good. Let's see, um, how many hit... Um, I mean, uh, action points, we don't have enough for three attacks. So I'll try this. What if we try this? Uh, we could go for the eyes, but no. I'm just gonna try to attack him. 70... Oh, come on. Come on, punch him so hard you <clears throat> knock him over, that would be nice. Seven hit points, not too bad. Ouch. Oh, he's got a lot of action points now. Yeah, that's the one I like. Look at that, just <laughs> smash him. 
Right, what I'm going to do now, I think we might have defeated him already. I'm going to do, go away so he waits, wastes his time units running over to us. I think he's done now. <laughs> oh man, he's almost dead. Um, shall we be evil? Well, we're stupid, aren't we? So, oh, he's not dead yet. You have defeated me, your worthy chosen one. It would be funny if we just killed him outright. Yeah, we're not really doing any critical um, strikes just yet, but um, if we get to a high enough level and take Slayer, we will do critical attacks with melee weapons and such. Ah, uh, yeah, there is the uh, the crappy T-shirt <laughs> from Vault 13. Now, the funniest thing is the talk with the Elder right here at the beginning of the game. It's absolutely hilarious. All right. And we leveled. Who's this? Oh, that's Cameron. It is good to see you again, Chosen One. How may I help you? Uh, uh, want fight again? Uh, no, thank you, Chosen One. I still carry the bruises from our last encounter and will need years to recover. Go by, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, let's, uh, let's level up. Oh my god, we get four skill points. <laughs> we get four skill points. I'll put them into um, melee weapons. This is bad. I'll put them into melee weapons because that spear is pretty nice. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's, that's what we can do. I'm going to stay away from these plants because they want to heal first. Now, the funny thing is if you talk to other um, people. I'm busy, dumb one. Go play somewhere, someplace else. I go. <laughs> so, from this guy, you usually get the quest to get his dog, but, well, we're just too dumb for him. I think the, uh, the, uh, crazy guy is here. Can we take anything from here? Oh, there's nothing here. Greetings, Chosen. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? <laughs> and our possible responses are, huh? <laughs> Or, Ugh, bark. <laughs> Huh? A blessing on you, for you are truly a child of nature. <laughs> Would you please use your special talents and rid my garden of the plants of dark souls? <laughs> no, you give head hurt. <laughs> uh -huh. May your aura grace my presence when you are... Oh, come to my door when you're done and I'll give you something good. <laughs> <laughs> so only with a stupid character, he stops spouting his old rubbish and just tells you straight away what he wants. And the only response you can do is... <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Um, but the Elder. Let's go talk to the Elder. Mm, boobies. Uh, oh god, may the spirit of the Founder guide you. If you're the Chosen One, we're going to need it. Unga. <laughs> Have a safe journey, and the only response you can do is just question mark. <laughs> you, have, you have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, let's talk to the Elder. I am proud of you, Chosen. You have overcome much. Now, you must go find Vault 13. <laughs> Vault 13. <laughs> Bring the Gek home. Gek. Here is a shiny bottle. <laughs> Vic gave us this. Vic. He is a trader in Klamath. Klamath. <laughs> Go to Vic. Find Vault 13. Find Gek. Come home. <sighs> Do your best, child. <laughs> Needless to say, they don't have a lot of faith in us. Ugh. Find Vic in Klamath. We are counting on you. <laughs> and if we go back to her... You not find Vault. Find Vault. <laughs> vault 13. <Ugh>. Find Vic. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Oh god, this will this will be it for the first episode. But I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. We've only barely started and it's already bloody hilarious. And it's just gonna go uphill from here. It's it's 
It's gonna be ludicrous. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.